My name is Richard Bromwell. I'm here today to have a quick walk and a talk around our 1,000, in fact, I think it's 1,005, actually topped 1,000 lots this month, December Collector's Auction here in Sherbourne, Dorset. So, as usual, we're going to do our sort of Annika Rice whiz around. We have ceramics. Always seem to start off the walk and talks with ceramics. So we have Chinese, we have Japanese, we have Dutch, you name it, we have it. Up through here, there's a collection in the region of 300 Lilliput Lane cottages. I know, why on earth would you have 300 Lilliput Lane cottages? I think the owner has got to the same point as well and has decided that actually now's, now's the time to let it go. So that's all coming for sale. Up through here, more ceramics. We've got big boys, little boys, lots more Lily Put Lane. We have a lot of ceramics and also a lot of collector's items. This is a fantastic uh, Tunbridge Ware tea caddy here. Um, Tunbridge School on the top there. We have wonderful uh, Japanese cloisonne. We have tollware. We have the Venus de Milo and more dolls and light fittings and bits and bobs up through here. We have some Italian ceramics, there's more Dutch, Chinese. This is an interesting thing. Thankfully, it's not a potty bowl or anything. It's, it's a nice little bowl which you'd have in your maybe little campaign traveling wash set there. And you know, a piece like that, probably around about 100 pounds. But this lot, this is a terrible bore, isn't it? Just like me, I suppose. A terrible bore here. I'm glad you find that amusing, George. Um, lo a lovely game terrine there, terrine and cover. Um, up through here, round the corner, we have thousands of postcards and luckily for us the client is very kindly said Devon, Somerset, whatever. It's a lifetime collection of postcards here from the client uh, over in uh, Wellington near Taunton and uh, sadly he clients not too well so he's going to be selling all those for him. Through here we have trains, we have trains, we have violins, we have bowlers, top hats, lots of clocks, lots of clocks here, bracket, we have barographs, we have long case clock dials, we have huge amounts. We've got a fox. Here's his. Now, this is a foxy lot. Here he is. He's called Brian. There we are. Hello to Brian. Sausages. We have lots of pictures. We've all been fiddling about with this, uh, the, the, the boys' toys, the Meccano aeroplane constructor set. Even though it hasn't got any guns, you've got to give it some gun noise there, haven't you, George? Wicker creels. We have boxes, gramophones. But through in here, we're going to pop on through. We're, going to, we're actually going to have a bit of a walk around the furniture this time. I don't always get to do that. Through in here. Yes, you've guessed it. More. That, that's, uh, that's Derek there. That is. Hello, Derek. More Lilliput Lanes. We've got a lovely pair of Wellington chests here. Nice to see from a Somerset firm of solicitors. A pair of Wellington chests like that needing a bit of remedial work. Probably around about the sort of five to seven hundred pounds. Very rare to see a pair of those. We've got lots of lanterns. That's, that's very, very popular at the moment. And also a lot of military. Now, you, you know, what's coming that day. <laughs> it's Captain Coned coming. God. I don't know. Where, is this from some, was this uh, Hanoverian or Greek? Eastern European or e Greek. Yeah. Eastern European or Greek. Well, that covers yeah. a multitude of sins, doesn't it? doesn't really fit me. Um, I, I certainly cannot get the jacket on. What do you think to this? It's a, I kind of feel more, much more like a sort of a it's a bit big for you. <laughs> it's a bit big for me, thank you very much. Let's stick that back on the rack anyhow. Come on, let's go through here. Up through here. Now, now this is this is one of the more bonkers <laughs> items we've got in this. This is a Crimean War period bath for a leg. <laughs> now I've never, I've only been here for 32 years. Um, I, I think it's just a single, I don't think it's one of a pair. Imagine having, <laughs> imagine having a couple of legs in that and that's for bathing your leg and things like that. And the value on that, oh my lord, good lord. Leave it, leave it. Probably around about sort of 150 to 200 pounds. Up through here, we have French furniture, we have Chinese furniture, we have walnut, we have mahogany, and this is a wonderful thing. This this kind of gets my vote. Lovely mahogany bureau bookcase. Value on that in today's market between 200 pounds and 400 pounds. What a fantastic thing. Nice fitted interior here. You've got candle slides on it. So uh, there's only two uh, candle slides. Doesn't have the four candle slides accessory there. Um, up through, up through, they're, get, they're getting worse. I think it's a Christmas special, isn't it? Up through here, a lot of clocks. This is lovely, needing a lot of work. Lovely long case clock here. And I love this portrait of Britannia. She's repeated through it. If you're looking for a restoration project, this is is a bit of a thumper, isn't it? We've got 30 hour long case clocks. We've got eight day long case clocks. We have country long case clocks, the movements in the box that's fallen out. Uh, we have sophisticated sort of London long case clocks here. Um, on the way through, we have pinball machines. We have 
fruit machines and bits and pieces. And again, I, I, I never know really where, where do we get this from? I think these came out of a garage in Yeovil, didn't they? Um, and the value on these between sort of 100 pounds and 300 pounds each. Then all around the corner, we've got lots of furniture. We've got two homes full of furniture. We've got sets of chairs. We've got pedestal chests. This is an expensive marble top French one, value between one and 200 pounds. On through here, we've got a bit of leather action here. They're always very, very popular sellers at the moment. But um, also through in here, we've got this wonderful doll's house, all handcrafted, beautiful thing, but still only worth between one and 200 pounds. So you kind of wonder whether Santa's gonna be delivering that on December the 25th. But into the cabinets now in through into the cabinets and I'm going to talk about this because this is my this is my favorite lot of the sale um, we've actually made it lot number one I'm going to show you the back as well because the back is is academically kind of quite interesting this is an Italian Castelli uh, Maiolica charger uh, it dates to around about sort of circa 1700 and the estimate on that is between two and four thousand pounds now some of the Charterhouse fans may recall that four years ago we had an Italian Maiolica charger, which we sold for 565,000 uh, pounds. That was a very special item, uh, much earlier than this one. But also, as a collector, sir, we have a lot of collector's items. We have a lot of a lot of stamps, and this is this is not particularly interesting. We recognise the 1966 World Cup winners when we beat the Germans. Yes, and uh, this one is uh, a little bit after that, and this is the. European Cup final for Manchester United. Here we go. And signed by George Best. Obviously, I think it looks like he signed that early on in the morning rather later on. Um, the value on something like that, not huge, but I think it's an interesting thing, sort of 30 to 50 pounds. This, on the other hand, this is the, icon the iconic Penny Black here. Um, now, what a lot of people don't realise is that they made something in the region of 68 million, 808,000 penny blacks between the 1st of May 1840 and I think the 27th of uh, January or February 1841. So in a really short period of time and that's why this one's probably worth about £100 so they're not as rare as you think. But moving forwards and also worth £100 is this 50p coin. This is a bit of a strange one, isn't it? This is a Royal Mint Brilliant Uncirculated 2009 50p coin. Now, you can still find these in your purses, in your pockets, in your handbags. And this is the Q Gardens one. Uh, normally, with a 50p coin, they will issue some of the region of 30, 40, 50 million of these. But this particular one, there was a very low mintage. And I think it's some of the region of about 210,000 of these they made. So, again, this here, this 50p coin has suddenly turned to £100, not so far off the penny black. Also in the collector sales we have we uh, we major very heavily on medals here and we have uh, a campaign service medal, a United Nations medal and an Atlantic or more commonly known as a Falklands campaign uh, medal here. And what is interesting about this is that 20 years ago uh, a chap was doing some work for someone up in London and he found these in a shed. 20 years ago found in a shed and moving forward 20 years they spent the next 20 years in his shed as well now they're coming for auction a little bit of a grubby condition estimated between five and seven hundred pounds but if you if medals aren't your thing but guns are do my sort of dick turpin stand and deliver Actually, these are very heavy, and these, these aren't English, these are Belgian. A lovely pair of Belgian flintlock pistols. Um, one of my colleague, George, behind the camera. Hello, George. Just say hello, George. Hello. Uh, George took these in from a client in our reception and came in on a, on a valuation day. And these nice pair of Belgian um, flintlock pistols, estimated between sort of £600 and £1,000, somewhere in that region. But the last thing to talk about is watches, because we're almost out of time. You see what I did there, George? And we've got a lovely collection of gents' watches here. We've got Omega, we've got Rolex, we've got Cartier, we've got some of the Bond watches, uh, we've got the Rolex Submariners and bits and pieces. These, these vary in values, probably between sort of £2,000 and £4,000. So if you like the, the look of that the little bit of a walk and a talk, I hope you've uh, enjoyed that with my, my Christmas ramblings, getting a little bit excited there, I think. Um, maybe we'll see you at the sale. But thanks for watching.